Lady Pancake and the Sir French Toast by Josh Funk, illustrated by Brendan Kearney. Deep in the fridge and behind the green peas, way past the tofu and left of the cheese, up in the corner and back by a roast, sat Lady Pancake beside Sir French Toast. The leftover friends were as close as could be until they heard news from their neighbor, Miss Bree. The syrup is almost completely all gone. A single drop's left, just a drop, she went on. The last drop is mine, Lady Pancake conversed. But French Toast replied, not if I get there first. Like that, he was off, and the race had begun, with Pancake behind, breaking into a run. Through broccoli forest, past orange juice fountain, they climbed to the top of potato mash mountain. Pushing and shoving, they fought for the lead, toast behind Pancake, who rolled at high speed. She screeched to a stop at the edge of the shelf clutching a grapevine to steady herself. Toast didn't notice and couldn't quite stop, plummeting down into jam with a plop. He scraped himself off and yelled up, You're a meanie! as Pancake rappled down a rope of linguine. She bragged, I'm the best of all breakfast food treats then hurdled a lime and skipped over two beats. I am, thought Toast, but his chances looked bleak, so Toast took a shortcut down Sauerkraut Peak, skiing past spinach and artichoke dip. Toast vaulted high in the air with a flip. Nearing the edge, he tried one final jump, but stumbled and fell way below with a thump. Pancake made use of her seafaring skills and sailed across oceans of soup, causing spills. But Chili Lagoon slathered Pancake in muck, and then at a fork in the road, she got stuck. Don't go that way, yelled a chickpea to warn her. But Pancake sped on and got trapped in a corner. Caught behind the dressings, one Russian, one ranch, she squeezed out and started a bean avalanche. Toast re-emerged in the vegetable crisper, sneaking up swiftly, not making a whisper. Beans were now falling from such a great height. Some kidney, some lima, some pinto, some white. Searching for safety from raining legumes, Toast turned to hide but was blasted by fumes of Brussels sprouts left from an old party plateau. So quickly he climbed up a celery ladder. Beside him, a lettuce leaf parachute landed. Pancake flipped out. It is mine, she demanded. Battered and soggy, exhausted and crumbling, too tired to push, they were limping and stumbling. There stood the bottle of syrup at last. But wait, it was empty. They stood quite aghast. Licking his lips with a snare that was awful, out of the shadows crept Baron von Waffle. I got here first while you boasted and bickered. My, was that syrup delicious, he snickered. With one evil laugh, Waffle slipped out of sight. The syrup was gone. No more reason to fight. Trudging back home beneath layers of grime, Toast said, perhaps we should not fight next time. Agreed, replied Pancake. As friends, we should share. Hey, look, we can split that butter right there. <laughs>